All right, everyone, here we are at 320 Hartley Drive. Um, this home is located here in Modesto. Um, it's close to Del Rio Country Club. As you can tell, it's a very beautiful neighborhood. Uh, right in the front here, you do have some palm trees, a beautiful front, front yard. Got some grassy area here in the front, as well as the backyard. We'll check that out here in a moment. So as you come into the front entryway, it's got those beautiful high arching ceilings. Um, we will go check out the interior of the home here. I believe this is a four bedroom, three full baths. It's a very large home, beautiful. Right as you walk in the door here, you have a, um, you could call this a formal dining area or whatever you wish to use this for. Uh, there is more additional kind of dining close to the kitchen. This could just be like a little family area as well. And then you have this room as well right here. Uh, TV mounted, ready for some entertainment here. Carpet throughout the rooms and the hallways area um, areas as well. As you can tell, there's a big backyard back there uh, with a pool and some grass area and some cool little hedges in the back as well as some palms. Uh, we'll go check that out here in a moment, but let's go get let's get into the the bedrooms here. So this is the right side of the home. Right as you walk this way, uh, you will be walking into the first bedroom here. Got some big windows here, nice big set of blinds. As you kind of swing this way, you have a large closet area. So that's the first bedroom. Uh, let's go and check out the master bedroom here. So from this angle, you have lots of wall space. You have your own access point to the backyard there. You got some additional storage over there uh, for some cabinetry, some shelves, TV mount as well. Uh, you kind of have these French doors for both uh, the back to the uh, backyard as well as the front kind of doors to enter the room here. Those are really, really nice and convenient, especially if you have larger um, items you need to move or it's just kind of kind of a cool little aspect of this room as well. Uh, so we'll get into the, the bathroom here. So we have the tub area right here. Large window, you can kind of start your morning out nice and look at the pool and get that there. And right here you do have the shower, the walk-in shower. Nice, and lots of room there, lots of room. Try not to get me too much in this video, but here we, here we are. Um, we have the dual sinks here in the, the master, um, as well as those, those light vanities there. Um, and then here we go to the um, separated toilet area. Um, you have additional storage, you know, for some items, you can store some towels or whatever you, you wish to kind of store up there. Um, it has its own window, um, toilet, you know, toilet bowl, or toilet um, paper holder. So that's got a separate door, which is always nice for some extra privacy here. Going on to the master closet, the walk-in, as you can tell, there's lots and lots of space here. Uh, whether you have lots of jackets or shirts or suits, whatever the case may be, you have so much storage here, so you are not shorthanded there. Those ones got the sliding doors for the walk-in, which are kind of neat. Sometimes those have like a, a regular door, but these have the sliders. So that's the master here. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you know, obviously you do have a ceiling fan, which is always handy, especially in the summers, uh, especially out in Modesto here, you know, you're gonna get a lot of heat. So you wanna stay cool. Um, here in this little foyer kind of hallway, you have a, um, another closet here, just for some additional storage. So that's handy. And then as you kind of get closer to this other bathroom, you have lots and lots of uh, additional cabinetry here in the hallway. Um, and then let's check out the second bedroom here real quickly. This is the second bedroom. 
almost identical to the other first bedroom. As we walk down farther this hall, we have the second full bath. Kind of similar to the master bedroom or bathroom, my apologies. The dual sinks, kind of same layout with the light bulbs. And then this, you do have your shower and your toilet all in one in this little area as well. All right, back out the hallway. And then we will walk towards the left side of the home now. So we saw all that. We'll swing around and we'll go in the backyard lastly. So walk down this way, uh, back in there. Obviously you can kind of see the kitchen area. Uh, let's just check out this real quickly. Um, that's obviously just like a pantry, but uh, we have some items in there that we are getting rid of here shortly. Um, so those will be removed, but as we kind of go into this area, this is the living room. As you can tell, there's two French door accesses to the backyard. There's, you know, plenty of access points to go outside to come back in. There's a sliding door farther back that way, as well as these doors here. Um, here in the living room, you have additional space for storage or whatever, you know, pictures, whatever that case may be there. You have the fireplace, more cabinets on the other side. I love this right here just because it's so wide open and you have so many different options and you can have so many different ideas on what you want your living room and slash family room to look like or if you're entertainers or if you guys just like an open concept uh, you, have, you definitely have that here all right going on to the kitchen here uh, this is a little kind of a more of a I guess dining set or you could you could say that first room that we saw when we first walked in you can use that as maybe a formal this might be maybe a little bit smaller um, just depending on on what's going to fit for your guys' needs you know so we look at the kitchen from this angle, lots and lots of cabinet space. Uh, we have the electric stove top it looks like. We got your hood vent. Kind of going on to this way, we got the trash compactor it looks like over that way and the dishwasher and the sink. I love those faucets because you're able to kind of play with them and, and move them around a little bit more, give you a little bit more space to, to wash dishes there. Um, onto this, you have the microwave and, and the oven here. Kind of see that in there. And then in here, this is kind of like a little breezeway from the um, front area to the um, kitchen. So you got another little sink there, which is always nice. And then um, right here behind me, this is more the pantry, that one in that hall there. Um, I guess you could call it the pantry as well, or you know you could store towels. But you know, obviously, that's this other stuff here is going to be uh, removed. But we we just want to make sure you know we show you every every part of the home here. So um, back through this door, we do have the laundry area. So you got laundry, you got washer dryer hookup. Don't know if any of the appliances are coming with this home. I don't believe so. Um, Obviously, we the owner is still completing, uh, moving out uh, some of these last minute items in order for you guys to be able to move in. But uh, we just want to give you the gist of the home, um, allow you to see the entirety of it. Uh, we don't want to leave any bits and pieces out. Um, so we will go back through. This is actually goes through the side yard here. Check that out real quickly. It's got a gate here on the side too with a code access. And then we'll, we'll go check out the backyard here in a moment. All right. Back through this way. Laundry room. All right. As you can tell in this hallway, lots of cabinet space again. Here's the third bathroom. All right, and last but not least, the last bedroom here. They all have ceiling fans, which I love. It's always nice to kick on a fan, especially when you got a nice little breeze. You can open up the windows. You can get that fan going, cool off a little bit in the valley here. Um, so let's go back through the kitchen area. 
It's a big house, I know. <laughs> and then we will check out this uh, backyard here real quickly. Let me, uh, that door's not opening for whatever reason, but let's, let's just go through this slider because I know I went through this way earlier. So here on this um, back porch area, you have some uh, patio fans, which is always nice to have, especially if you have a couple friends over hanging out in the backyard here, getting a little get together. As you can tell, this backyard is beautiful. Here's the pool here. You got some palms in here for some more aesthetic look. You got the outdoor grill. You got a huge backyard behind the pool area. You got those cool hedges back that way. Those are very neat to have. So this home is, is very, very beautiful. Um, very large for a big family. Or just if you need a big space, you know, this is definitely the house for you. Um, this will be posted on our website, uh, newbridgemanagement.com. Uh, or you can always give our office a call. We can be reached at 209-668-6700. Um, if you guys have, you know, obviously any other further questions or need some additional information regarding this property, uh, just feel free to reach out to us and we will try to assist you the best that we can. Again, this is 320 Hartley Drive here um, close to the Del Rio Country Club. Very big house, spacious, uh, beautiful. So if you guys are interested or want to set up a showing, please reach out to us. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to all of my videos and I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. This one was a beautiful home, so come check it out. Um, give us a call and thanks for stopping in today, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.